was captured on security video. I believe anybody that's seen the clip cannot help but just see how horrendous the attack was. Now concerns for the scars that can be seen and the ones that can't. Our initial concern right now is his healing, his physical and emotional well-being, and also the safety of the community at large. Anita Washington is the attorney for the family of the victim. She says they're still trying to assess the injuries. He has had surgery. He currently has a drainage tube in. He's on a walker. Um, he cannot attend school. He's had a little bit of infection in it. And so we're still waiting to see if there will be like permanent nerve damage. The owner of the dog lives just a few doors down from where the boy was attacked. Heather Stevens has now admitted the dog is hers after first saying it was her sister's. Court documents show she's been fined $5,000 and is forced to follow a long list of requirements, including keeping the dog leashed and muzzled when outside, insurance requirements, containment requirements. The dog is labeled as vicious, but will not be put down at this point. That's a typical part of the Cincinnati law with regard to dogs. Lisa Rabanis is an attorney and animal advocate. She says the law generally requires an animal to be designated as vicious after a first bite, but penalties get much more stringent if there was a second incident. I would say the next time then the, the dog would definitely uh, face being put down. The dog owner, victims, and those who live nearby are all hoping there is no next time. Oh boy, is still suffering. In fact, he was at therapy today for his leg wound. They're not sure what the permanent or long-term effects might be. And the family says they have not determined if they'll file a civil suit. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thank you. Rem